Now we're going to discuss this this little stick here. This is a little one foot stick, 12 inches. So you can call it a hand stick, anything you want. It's basically the same thing as a Coubaton, it's just bigger. No real difference. I can actually drill a hole in here, put a ring on it if I want. I can hold the ring. Uh, I'm going to do a piece of cord on this so that I can swing it around and roll it around with a piece of cord. But just as it is here, it's it's the perfect weapon. Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and this is Richard. So uh, we're going to head inside, and I am going to do a little project that is going to be working on some uh, martial art gear. So let's get inside, and let me show you what we're doing. Alrighty, so it's actually starting to rain out here. So let's get on in here. How you doing, dear? I'm good. <laughs> All right. So as everybody knows, here's our living space. It's a mess. It is a mess, but. So we're going to walk through the living space and we're going to go into the garage area. And here's the messy garage area. And we're going to move back to the back end here. And we're going to work over here in this area so here. We're going to work at this bench a little bit and we're going to move over here to the bench over there. But what we are going to do today is I showed you this uh, one foot stick that I use for uh, my my classes. We use uh, the, the one foot stick. We use a four foot one which is the Joe and uh, a stick which is uh, 26 inches or so and this uh, little Coubaton which is about five and a half six inches long. We use all these sticks and they're pretty much used in the same way but uh, attach a piece of cord to this right here and uh, we're going to do that with this one here. So I figured I'd run the, through the process with you. And uh, so let's get this going. All right, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we want to get this piece of wood in the first place. Now, here's one of my Joe. And these are four foot long. And as you can see, it's tapered on this end. And it's cut here because these two pieces at one point, and probably go there we go. At one point, fit on this, and this was actually a staff, a six-foot staff. But I took these two feet off to make my Joe. Now, being me, I didn't want to throw away this piece of wood here, this two-foot piece of wood. So I kept it around for some time until I figured out what I wanted to do with it. Well I decided I was going to make little hand sticks with them. So we were going to train we're going to train some with the hand sticks one foot twelve inches long. So I got two of them right? So with that I decided okay let's advance this a little bit more and let's attach a string to them. So now it has this whipping motion and it goes into my hand. So I'm here I can have the stick sitting wherever in the string. String goes on, stick is down. Just, uh, I can twirl this around and I don't want to hit anything. We'll do it. And it spins, 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 and then right into my hand. Okay? So, uh, we will be doing some techniques with that uh, later on. But right now we're just going to make them. So, I cut the staff into a Joe. The two extra pieces are now two one-foot pieces. I've already done this one. So all we're going to do is I'm going to drill a hole probably in the smaller section of this. So holding my hand like so. Just drill a hole in this. Now, I am using a 30-inch piece of cord. Now, I tested it out, and a 30-piece... A 30 inch piece of cord doubled over is the perfect size for it to twirl around my hand and then go straight into my hand like this here. Alright? You may have to adjust yours at a different length, but you're just going to have to play with it. Start with maybe 30, I, I would start with a little more and then just subtract until you get to where you need. But we're going to take these ends and we're just going to burn them. Just so that. Uh, they don't fray on me. There we go. So, 
Step one, locating the, the one inch or the one foot stick. Step two, cutting the stick so that it's one foot. Step three, 30 inch piece of cord, burnt it, burnt each tip. Now, next step, I'm gonna drill a hole. So we're gonna have to move over here real quick. Alrighty, so to help with camera angles, I'm sitting down. But uh, the next step is drilling the hole. Now, finding this drill was a lot more difficult than I was expecting because Keith, my father-in-law, which is, I'm in his garage, doesn't know where his drill's at. Couldn't find it. So I decided I would dig around my crap to find it. Luckily, I did find it. So yeah, we're going to have to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. There we go. And all we're going to do is just drill a decent hole. Drill a hole, that's all we're gonna do. All right, let's step back over here. All righty, so we got, this, we got the one foot stick with the hole drilled in it. We've got the 30 inch piece of cordage. Both tips are burnt. Just gonna run that through the hole. Boom, just like so. Even it up. Now, I'm just gonna put a little knot right at the tip just like so there we go now I made this slightly larger than 30 inches so that I would have room for this knot and there we go so we put this here boom right there there we go boom alright we're good to go. Alrighty. So, let's take this somewhere where we can practice with this and see how well it is. So, you just simply take this, put it in between the three fingers here, and hold it. And then you can swing this around however you want. Give it a good swing. Strike, attack, move here. Then when you want to roll, right there. So, swing it back and forth here, overhead, down, up, however you want to swing it. Then twirl it around, boom, and it catches right into your hand. Then you can strike it like a stick here, use it as a stick. Then you can also use it like chucks. Boom. So there we go. There's the, uh, the hand stick and cord. Thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your backyard.